Hello, hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And this is the first day of December 2020. And I thought that I would just show you some fun patterns that you could use if you're making Christmas cards or decorations or just something fun to do. And so I have picked four different patterns that look Christmassy that I want to show you. And let's get this out of the way. The first thing that I want to show you is I'm going to use micron pins. Um, I have a black PN. I thought I had it. Yeah, here's an 01 in black, but I have a red and a green and my pencil and, oh, sorry for the wobble. And I'm just kind of playing this one by ear today. I haven't done a huge amount of planning on it. Just needed an afternoon to have fun. And I'll show you what inspired me. I've been doing, some little ornaments to give as gifts to my family. This is a three inch square of a wooden tile that I got off Amazon. And I drilled some holes in the top and I have been adding patterns on these. And this is one of the patterns that I'm gonna show you today. I saw this originally on a photo on Pinterest and it didn't have the name. And so I showed it on the Certified Zentangle Teachers website and I said, hey, does anybody know what this is? And I got several different responses and the final winner <laughs> for the right answer is that this pattern is called Holly and it is by Linda Dawson. So I'm going to show you how that one works first. It is a very pretty grid pattern. And so I'm just going to start with the simple grid. I hope that you have a very safe and happy holiday season. 2020 is almost over and I know we are all hoping that 2021 will just get better and better. Now, these are not turning out to be very good squares because I'm doing that kind of fast but and still show you the basic pattern. Okay, and again, this is Holly. And it is by Linda. Dawson. And let's go ahead and go this direction. And this one. And so now I'm gonna put the pattern on these diagonals. Very simple. Just gonna come out and back in, out and back in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that down here, here. You could do it all in green all in black, however you want it. I saw this originally done in green and red and I thought it was so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it and come back in this direction. And 
And I have some light Christmas music going in the background. And hopefully it's not too loud or overpowering. I tried that with my last video and it didn't work, but I have since then <laughs> figured out how to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my red pen and with this one you do little red orbs here in each corner. Okay. So we would have one here and here. Here. And then down here also. Okay, very simple. And then you would continue with that. Let's try it in all, oh, that's red. Okay, let's try it with red. <laughs> I have not done a huge amount of planning on this class. I just want to do it. Spontaneous. It's also a day where I'm not babysitting, except for my dog. Interesting to see how this turns out with red in the middle. It's kind of pretty. Okay, and now while I have the green out, I'm going to do what I originally meant, is to make these diagonals in green. And now I'm going to put my little, it's almost like making it a diamond shape. Turn it. Always trying to keep your hand comfortable. And you can see that it doesn't make a whole lot of difference that my grid wasn't perfect. It's going to be pretty no matter what. Now I'm going to put my little red orbs in here. Okay, so there you go. So that is Holly with a few variations in color. And again, this is how it turned out on this ornament. And I'm doing both sides of these. And I actually did put green, but on this uh, brownish color, the tiles themselves aren't brown, but I did uh, various colors, like this one has green. And um, I used my Lindy's Magicals watercolor to color those tiles. They are a very light blonde color of wood. Okay, so the second one that I wanna show you is called Xmas Red. Okay, Xmas dash red. And this one is by Lynn Chu. 
She is a certified Centangle teacher. And this one I think could make a really pretty type snowflake. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you using my um, Micron 01. Now I did one similar to this in this one. Okay, so there's the three little beads or berries with the leaves coming off of it. And then I put flux and um, this is called therefore. And then I just added little orbs where I put in some uh, gold jelly roll. And this Xmas red is very similar to that. And it starts with three little berries. So I'm going to make those kind of small. And then I'm going to come out and do my little leaves. A turn. And do another leaf. Okay. Always turn in your tile to be comfortable. And then third little leaf. And then you can go back and add another little leaf here. Adding these between the other little leaves that were already there. Okay, so that's a cool little pattern. And I think it would be pretty to do it in red. So let's do it a little bit bigger, similar to what I did here. So I'm going to start out with some larger berries. Go ahead and fill them in. And then I'm going to go to my green. Make my leaves a little bit bigger. Start your leaves between the little berries. Very simple pattern. And you could stop just like this like I did on this one. Um, on mine, I put a little line at the center. And I think this is very pretty when it has these additional leaves coming off like this. And then you can come back and I'm going to go back to my red pin. I'm going to put an aura.
This starts to have kind of a snowflake effect. It was 32 degrees here this morning, which is unusual for the Houston, Texas area in December. Actually, that's unusual. We don't start getting really cold weather usually until January, February, but uh, I don't think there's any such thing as normal <laughs> anymore. Things are changing so much. Anyway, so there is Xmas Red by Lynn Chu. And now we're going to put this one aside. And the next one that I want to show you. And I'm going to switch back to my black 01. And this one is called Splish. And it is by Beth Snodderly. And she is a CZT. And I'm noticing that the end of my pen isn't doing very well. I'm can you see how that's kind of tilted? But hopefully it's still going to work. Okay, so Splish, and I'm going to do this one a little bit bigger. This one is actually new to me. And the first step is we're going to draw a diamond. And then around that diamond, going to put little orbs. And then another orb in between the ones that we put on the points. Okay. And then the next thing you do is bring these up to little points on each side. Turning it. I did a search on tanglepatterns.com for Christmas. And these are some of the patterns that came up. Okay. So after you do that, I'm going to come back and add a little dip and two more dots on each end. And I don't have these exactly the same size. That's okay. This would be another one that would be pretty in different colors. This would be with all these uh, kind of snowflake patterns would be pretty in white. Use a white jelly roll pen and put it onto a black tile. Okay. Oops, oh, jet going over my house. This is stippling, where you just use your pen to add a little bit of shading on the end. And this is how uh, Beth showed hers, the ideas. So that's kind of cool. 
Let's add another little diamond inside here. Fill that in. I think you could fill in these little dots also to make it a little bit different. Also allows me to fix those orbs that weren't exactly round. Okay, so that is Splish by Beth Snodderly. And she has a, a couple of variations. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so I can get it on the card. This is just card stock that I'm working with right now. Okay, so I'm going to put my dots. Okay, and this variation, she makes the little diamonds again. I think I actually like this version better as far as making it look a little bit more like a snowflake. Especially when you put another little orb in between each of these. Okay. And then the other variation, she does these in more of a little teardrop like that. But I think I like this one. I like that a lot. And I'm going to put another little diamond inside of that one. Okay, so there you go. That is Splish by Beth Snodderly. And the fourth one that I want to show you is called Sing. S Y N G. And it is by. Let me just make sure I get this right. Shilpi Gupta. And she is a CZT. Okay. And this one starts with a circle. And off that circle, we're going to add. Some lines. Okay. Okay. Making sure I've got this right. And then off of each of these, we're going to make. We're going to connect every other set of lines together to make a little point. Again, this one is also new to me. I just found it today. And then between each one of these, we're going to do a little V. And we're going to make another little diamond. So I'm going to turn it. Do another little V, put a cap on it, have a little diamond again, little V, the diamond, another little V with the cap. 
And then you could do the same thing as far as uh, putting an aura around it. One of the things that she shows is to come in here kind of like you do with bales and put little petal half moon shapes inside, half rice shape, however you want to call it. A little embellishment. I think that makes it really pretty. Okay. And then inside of these, we just put an inner aura. Okay. Very simple, but there you go. Another snowflake. And this one again is seen by Shilpi Gupta. <coughs> so, excuse me, my throat's getting kind of dry. So there's Holly. And we could try that without the grid. And let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Oops, sorry. So Holly, we have Sing, we have Splish, and we have Xmas Red. So let's see what kind of damage I can do on this tile. So this is a piece of Fabriano Tiepolo paper that I have cut on my Cricut machine. And this one happens to have the embossing from the paper company, the one that makes this. And can't tell exactly what that is, but it's uh, looks like a star and some other things. But I'm going to flip it over to the other side. And then I'm just going to randomly put some of these patterns down and use my various colors. And if you would like to add a border, let me show you a tip that um, I saw for adding a border is that, okay, so I have put this pencil in a certain position and now I'm just gonna run, gonna keep my finger in the same spot and it's the edge is touching my finger now. Let's see if I can zoom in with my other hand. Okay, so my fingernail is touching this side, and I'm just going to turn this circle without moving my pencil or my other hand. And my fingernail happens to be the guide keeping this in place. There you go. So now I have a border on this. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but wanted to show you how we could do that. Okay. I use my iPhone for my camera, so it's not always super easy to zoom in and out. Okay, so now we have a border on there. And I think I'm going to start with this, Xmas Red. And let's 
start with my little berries. Fill them in. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to the green pen. Okay. And put my leaves. Always start your little leaf between the two berries. And this paper is good enough that you could come back and add watercolor to it. I also have some green metallic jelly roll pens that I could use, but I uh, happen to have this green micron. Okay, so I put the leaves between the berries. Now I'm putting another set of leaves between those first ones. And then I'm adding my little line at the center. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to put the aura around this. Remembering to turn your tile to keep your hand comfortable. And my R is not perfect, but I don't do perfect, so it's okay. Cool. I like that. All right, so I think next I will put this one, splish. And... We'll start with black on that one. Pink orbs all the way around your diamond at the points. <clears throat> And in between, and then I think I'll switch to red. Totally doing this <laughs> randomly. I have not practiced this style. You know, just have fun with it.
again, I think these would be really pretty on a uh, black tile done with jelly roll pins. Oh. Put some green inside here. I think I'll fill in these dots with green, although you can't really tell it since I did it with black. But we can go between out here with the green. Cool. And you could put um, aura around that one. Okay, so now let's try sing. Hmm, what shall I do? Let's do this one in red. And this one, when it started, had the lines that went here and here, but I'm just going to put the diamonds. So this would go straight up and down here. I like shortcuts. This, to me, is a shortcut. So what I was saying was on this one, it started out with this, and you had the lines that went in each direction, kind of like this, and then you did this, but I'm doing a shortcut. And you can find the step outs for all of these on tanglepatterns.com. Yeah, I think that was a lot easier to do. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back between each one and put the second little diamond. And then leave a lot of room there, that's okay. Okay. And I do like how this looks. Oh, sorry. The neighbors woke the dog. And then I'm going to put a little diamond inside each one of these. Okay. So there's three of them. And the colors just never look quite right on this. Okay, the last one that I want to do is this one, Holly. But I'm gonna show you how I did it this way instead. I said, well, to do, to do. I just wanna show you how I did Holly. So, because the other one really needs to be in a grid for it to look right. So I just did three orbs and I filled them in. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to come back with the green. There's my leaves. Okay. Always turning my tile to keep my hand comfortable. And there you go, just very simple. And then when, what I did around it was that um, I put flux to fill this in and then I used, like I said, little pieces of gold or I use the gold jelly roll pen. And around this edge, trying to decide what might be the best thing to do. Let's try just a little holly leaves. And I might go back after this and do this in red or possibly even erase it. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of that, but I think between each one of those, I will put a little red. And at the end of this video, I will show how I've done the whole border. So in between in here, you could put this little pattern. It's called Therefore, and it kind of matches what's in there already. You could add that in a lot of different places. In green and in red. So now I'm going to switch to green. This is not a published pattern. It is an official Zentangle pattern, but it's just so simple that there's really no step outs for it. It's called therefore because in the old days of taking shorthand, this three dots symbolized the word therefore. So just adding that in some various places. Oops, not necessarily doing that very symmetrical, am I? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with what I was doing here. And if you want to, you could 
fast forward to the end. I did um, pause long enough to grab a couple of General's pastel chalk, one in red and one in green. And I'm going to do these quickly. These are easy to make. And then we will see how it looks with a little bit of shading on it. Because shading is the icing on the cake, as Maria says. And it definitely does make a difference. I like how these little leaves are looking on the outside. And this is what happens when you just go, well, what if I do this? What if I do that? Just try it. Just play with it. That's when I enjoy Zentangle the most, when I let go of worry. Don't compare, just have fun. Are these perfect leaves? Nope. Is anything on this tile perfect? No, because that's not what my goal is. My goal is to enjoy the art. Okay, let's quickly put some little berries in here. And I don't have a jelly roll pin in red, which I wish I did. It could have made this really pretty. I have a metallic green, but it looks prettier, I think, like on a um, darker tile. The jelly rolls tend to look really pretty on black. Okay, so there's my last little berry. And generals. This is actually a sea green, but Hopefully it'll look good. I'm just gonna add a little bit at the bottom of each of these petals. And this is, like I said, the first time that I've tried the music in the background. And I'd be interested to know what you think, whether you liked it or not. I tried to keep it kind of quiet, but um, one of my favorite things about Christmas is the music. And I tell you what, before I get too far on this edge, I should have done the inside first so that I'm not putting my hand on top of that um, chalk pencil. Otherwise you end up with a bad smear Um, one thing you can do is put something over it like this and then um, do your shading. Okay, so go back to these outside leaves and add a little bit of green. Okay. I have my tortillon. And I'm just going to soften that inside of each one of these. Okay. 
Again, um, you could use colored pencils. You could use watercolor and put just a tiny bit of color in each one of these. Oops. I have this square here as a guide, but I still get so into what I'm doing, I forget to make sure I'm on the screen. Okay. My children are all grown, but I have grandchildren all the way from age, well, one of the youngest will be four in December. The oldest is 18. So a variety. My Christmas shopping is done, but I'm waiting for it to all be delivered. That's one thing that was delivered today. Um, Okay, so red. Hmm. A little bit of red inside each of these. Okay, I'm going to flip this over and kind of clean off my tortillon. I'm going to use it for the red also. And then I'm just going to pull that red into this petal, or this little diamond rather. It's not really a petal. To give each one of these a little bit of color. And let's just add some in the center of these, in the center of this. Okay. All right, I think I'm done. Oh, except for the border. I'm going to go ahead and go around this edge with red. And I did this a little bit darker than I probably should have because I might be able to erase that graphite after this dries and make it look a little bit better. Okay. Oops, trying to make it a little bit thick. I did notice that uh, 
at the zentangle.com site, they have micron pins in size 10 now, which is pretty thick, but um, not a variety of colors. Another thing that you could add to this tile is the pattern AH by Zentangle, A-H-H, -H, which is very much like a little snowflake. Okay. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I try to see if I can erase some of that graphite from underneath. But right here, I'm going to put my L and my B. And then this line is my second B, so it's BBL. All right, there you go. <laughs> A nice spontaneous Zendala tile. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. And uh, I will see you next time. I hope you have a very blessed holiday season. Stay warm, stay safe. Yeah, I just noticed where I missed one. When I look up on the big screen, I can see my mistakes a little bit bigger. But this was fun and fast, and I enjoyed it. Enjoyed sharing it with you, and I learned some new patterns today. All right. Thank you. Please like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And... You should be able to get uh, notices when new videos come out. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.